not enough to take it. But we'll have to see if uh, Sweet Tea can try and take an upset here because it's a different caliber of Pokemon trainer for sure. Right. This is our ranked Pokemon trainer for yes. one thing. Yeah, uh, Spanky's ranked, but only in his sub-region of uh, Inland Empire. Mm -hmm. It's like further south in uh, SoCal. Mm -hmm. so yeah, like south and like east. <laughs> right. So he's a pretty good uh, Pokemon trainer in his own right, but we're going to see a little bit better Pokemon trainer in the same matchup. but Or not. Wait, what? Hold up, hold up. He's thinking about it. Okay. All right, starting off with the with the red bomber. Okay. And so there. Yeah, I really want to see what uh, Sweet Tea does here. He did tell me that uh, he doesn't really like the Mega Man matchup in comparison to Spanky. So even though he might be a better Pokemon trainer like in general, in this matchup, he might not fare as well as Spanky did. So we're really going to see his brand of Pokemon trainer and see how it stacks up against Kameme, who uh, should be like the top three seed in this tournament. You know. Yeah, and of course the first battle to figure out is how to get around those lemons. Yeah, for real. That's just getting around the uh, lemons in general is what is a uh, pretty frustrating for most players when they go up against a really decent Mega Man. Yeah, I mean look at him. He he hasn't landed a hit yeah. yet on Kamen Man. He's already fifty eight percent. He's like standing there trying to figure out, okay, I need to get around these lemons, and then when I get in, I have to avoid like the flame sword, the leaf shield, like a bunch of other different projectiles. So this is just a war of attrition yeah. going on. Stage one of approaching Mega Man. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Spot dodge up tilt. Super light. Squirtle there is going to get eaten up by that. Really yeah. strong first start for Kamehameha. Like, it, it, like you said, getting past the lemons is just so difficult. And then once you do, you have to deal with so much of his other tools that are really strong. Mm -hmm. All right. He's switching back to the Squirtle. Let's see if he can try and make his way in. He's finally going to be able to get a combo going. There we go. And now the big deal is that he's got to make sure that he keeps him out. Good mix-up from Kamehameha, though. Of course, you can save your double jump after using Rush. Uh, nice. Then you can come back and do a mix-up afterwards, either jump air dodge or jump attack. Yeah. And Sweet Tea wasn't quite ready for it there. Okay, switching the charge here. Yeah, I think at this point, uh, Sweet Tea's trying to find out which of his Pokemon have the, the best opportunity to get in against Kamehameha. And uh, I don't know, all three of them have been struggling so far. Yeah, I think Squirtle might be his best bet, personally. But yeah, then, then he runs into the problem that he could die extremely early just because... Yeah. Squirtle's very light, but we'll have to see what he decides to stick with. Withdraw not quite coming out in time to be able oh to absorb man. it, and another back air setup. Yeah, that hit confirm from the saw blade is just so good for Mega Man. It's like he can get a mid range hit confirm from hitting you from so far away, and it's like really safe to do on people's shield in the first place. Yeah, that back air is such a long range too, so it's pretty easy to confirm. You don't have to be too precise on that either. Yeah. Finally, Sweet Tea gonna try and get something going. He's got positioning, but of course he's still ticking on the. The chip damage from all those lemons. He's got to figure out his way in, but it doesn't look like it's quite happening. Yeah. And I just blinked, and he's at 76 already. Yeah, it's just, it's funny how, like, passive it seems. Like, Mega Man racking up for sale, and you just casually with the leaf. Uh, not the leaf, necessarily the leaf show, but, like, the pellets. And, uh, I don't know, like, you let the match get away from you really quickly if you don't find a way to get inside of his, his zone. Mm -hmm. And I think the big thing about Kamen Man, too, is that once Sweet Teach starts to try and figure out a pattern, he mixes it up with, like, the Flame Sword, the Leaf Shield, or just uh, using one of his different normals. So I think that's what's making it even cool. more difficult for Sweet Tea. Because if he kept doing the same pattern, of course, Sweet Tea would be able to figure it out. But Kamehameha is so good at mixing it up. That's what's making it difficult for him right now. Yeah, that's just the mark of a top tier player that Kamehameha is. But not going to get the up smash. Still, no hard punish on that. Really unfortunate. Like, at this point in the game, down by so much, dropping punishes is just not good for Sweet Tea at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ivysaur is back. Going to try and find a setup maybe to get an early kill. I'm trying to bring this back around. I think one saw blade into like a back air or something should be able to seal it out. You can tell he's kind of looking for it here. All right, Kamehameha just hanging back really safe with the pellets here. It hasn't really taken any huge risks, and that's the metal blade back air again. Really solid kill confirmed coming out there from Mega Man. And uh, yeah, it's just a so really solid game one coming out there from Kamehameha. Yeah. Now, I was kind of discussing some things with Sweet Sweet before the match. Like, he was asking for some tips on what carries you can go, because he does also have Pichu in his packet too. And, uh, he said he will like to switch to the Pichu if he feels, yeah, if he feels that like he just didn't get much done with P uh, Pokemon Trainer versus Kamehameha. So, getting the character switch here, I mean, I really want to see how the Pichu is going to fare. Recently, I've seen this set, or this matchup with uh, Void versus uh, Plup. And, of course, Plup's not necessarily at like, the same level Mega Man as Kamehameha by any means, but it did look like Pichu does a little bit better in the matchup. Mm -hmm. Just because situations like this, you can combo Mega Man really hard, and also has a really good projectile of its own to kind of contest that... Uh, the pellet range. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got the speed and uh, relatively small. Can try and figure out his way in. So I guess it's kind of like sticking with Squirtle. I mean, it's going to be the, like the same weight range. So he's got to be really careful because he can't switch to another Pokemon to try and survive longer too. So yeah. that's something to consider as well. 
And I also have to consider that this is the post patch. Pichu has a much a slightly bigger hurt box mm -hmm. and takes way more damage in like the self inflicted damage than he did before. Yeah. Almost 1% per Thunder Jolt, so that's actually pretty significant now. But here we go. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, it's just trying to be really careful. I mean, already doing better. He's got better combos and better damage output so far already. Oh, nice. He immediately caught the double jump off stage with that down air. And that's exactly what you want with Pikachu. Getting the stock lead is so good, too, because you can snowball your lead really well, but great tech chase from Kamehameha, calling out the roll in and getting the forward smash, which yeah. is much better in this game for Mega Man. Mm -hmm. I think at that point, it was pretty difficult to really find anything. I think the best option might have been like a neutral getup and try and get the timing on the invincibility right on that forward smash, but Kamehameha just had the opportunity and then took it, and it was too soon for Sweet Tea to make the right call there. Right. And some great combos here from Sweet Tea. The up airs into the forward airs. Really consistent damage on Mega Man. That's exactly mm -hmm. what you want. Like, if you're going to deal with a character that's really good at zoning like Mega Man, securing the uh, percent lead and kind of forcing him to approach and make more mistakes is really good for Pichu. But there it is again. He has so many ways to get a kill off a of Metal Blade in this game. So I'm, glad they, I'm glad they stuck with the canon of the, the Mega Man games because the Metal Blade in the Mega Man games, it's really good in, in those games too. So I'm glad they stuck with that. Yeah. But here we go. Let's see. Already 36%. Not looking too good for Sweet Tea on the second game here. Yeah, like 30% is uh, against a Rage Mega Man. That's like halfway kill percent when you're Pichu. Like right now, a strong hit could actually kill him right here at the ledge. Mm -hmm. All right, opportunity here. Not quite going to be able to find anything. Common Man just retreats back. Let's see how he can make it back to the stage. Yeah, Not quite. No, no up throw. Thunder going to connect there. Yeah, he was looking for the air dodge read, but couldn't quite find it either. Oh, that was such a scary roll from ledge. Looks like Kamehameha was trying to bait that out and maybe get an up tilt or up smash. Mm -hmm. Got to be very careful. Yeah, Kamehameha is actually very good at catching defensive habits as well, but there's the forward smash. Not going to be enough to kill, but still, again, just a really solid tech chase there from Kamehameha. Yep, good recovery. Just kept himself low. So wouldn't be catched by any projectiles there. But this is a start. That'll probably do it. Yeah, yeah. that does. And Kamehameha he just, he doesn't do anything super crazy flashy. He just plays super consistent, does everything really safely. And he's just always waiting for you to go into a, a habit that you can exploit. Mm -hmm. And just really shows that he's super well practiced as a, a solo Mega Man. Man. Yeah, it's like a boss pattern, you know, in a mm -hmm. traditional video game. Because most of the time they're going to have a linear pattern, and that's how you figure it out, and then you eventually beat the boss. But Kamehameha is one that's like self learning the whole time. So it's kind of like playing a video game in itself right. rather than playing the player, you know? Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that using Mega Man like top level is very similar to how you would use him in the games. Like you treat your opponent as like a boss that you're fighting in, like Mega Man. It's making it chipping out, chipping away at them like slowly but surely, and then getting your kills from there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see Does what he decides to go back to. Do you want to try to see if he can adapt with the Pokemon Trainer? Okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's a rough spot because you know he didn't. Uh, didn't really do that hot with the Pokemon Trainer in game one. Switched to a different character, still struggled a bit. So now it's like, I have like two really good characters and maybe like, I know he has a Joker too, but it's like maybe his least practice of his characters. So at this point, he's just going with the matchup and seeing how he can not necessarily adapt to the matchup itself, but Kamehameha as a player. Oh, okay, there we go. It rolls through the Crash Bomber. That's going to work out just fine. Already starting off with a big combo. I think that's just going to be what Sweet T wants to do. He's got to try and figure out how to keep up the consistency on those combos with Pokemon Trainer and then getting the kill first. Because yes. when Mega Man's playing behind, it's a little bit easier to play the game. But once he gets a lead, then it's yeah. so it goes too far, man. Yeah, it just uh, dealing with the pellets and all these projectiles can be very frustrating when you're behind. But, oh my god, he's got to watch these hits. They're super powerful. The Metal Blade up, so it might be enough to connect to kill it uh, really soon. Yeah, I mean, even the back air might be able to do it, actually. But it's kind of trying to go for something here. The Flame Sword comes in. Oh, too much oh, pressure yeah, underneath. Yeah, so good. Using the up air to just poke the shield from under the platform. And then once it gets low enough, sneak in that back air. Tries to get the fly off the top platform. Uh, I don't know if it would kill Mega Man at 95, but worth the attempt to go for it. Anything yeah. to get the stock off quick before he trails too far behind. Honestly, that was just unfortunate it didn't connect all the way yeah. through. I've seen it con connect consistently a lot before, but that just didn't quite work out for him there. And this is what I'm talking about. You know, you can't seal off the stock against Mega Man, then all of a sudden you're in a world of hurt. Yeah, already taking... 50%, 60%. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about, the, the patterns. You know, he was throwing out lemons, and then he's, uh, okay, he's about to come back on. Let me just use Leaf Shield, and Ooh. that's another potential punish. Yes, he does. Gets the Metal Blade right there. Yeah, Flare Blitz, uh, not a safe on Shield move. You can actually punish the inlight of that Flare Blitz with pretty much anything if you're quick enough. Mm -hmm. This is really good for Kamehameha right now. 
Yeah, he's just not really uh, switching up his game plan. He just knows it's really effective and working right here. It, you can even tell how well he's spacing by uh, Jacob getting a parry on both of his metal blades and pellets and still not being in position to punish. Yeah. Parrying projectiles is pretty difficult because you're not necessarily in advantage because of the distance and another flame sword. Potential three stock we're looking in for Kamime. He's got to figure oh, out his way in. Oh, but that's a oh big conversion too. He got too, the double yeah. up there off the platform. That would have been so much percent. He already has so much percent, like 33. And he hasn't lost his stock yet, and he's trying to figure out oh, his way in. Got the crash bomb set up too. Air dodges away, but still Kamime in position to get a grab maybe. No, no back throw kill wow. for Squirtle. Mega Man actually is one of the heavier characters in the game too. So he can live really long time. This the punish on the roll. Is this enough? No, no back throw on that side either. Yeah, this is really looking really, looking really difficult. I think we're probably seeing the end of this set very yeah, soon. Yeah, this is really rough comeback to make. And you can tell that Kamei is fishing for something when he's just holding on in shield with the metal blade in his hand. Yeah. Oh, the down air clips him. And the up B still living. Yeah, unfortunate. But the great recovery is coming from Kamei. It shows his utility with the character as well. And you can see that Sweet Tea wasn't quite confident in the edge guard either. He would probably just thrown out the dare, but because of the way Kamehameha has been mixing up his recovery. Ooh, okay. I think that was fair. a good edge guard, man. He went super deep, caught off the jump, and waited to, in a position where he was like forced to trade with the hitbox. 